Printed Circuit Board Arrays, Key Definitions by Bay Area Circuits. What do you think of when you hear the word array? Perhaps a mathematical array of numbers, or maybe a large antenna array. For PCBs, an array is combining a single PCB multiple times to make a larger array of connected boards, a matrix. Here's an example of an array of PCBs. The same design is repeated multiple times. This is done to make the component assembly process easier. There are a few other key terms that may be used when referring to PCB arrays. It could be called stepping out, step and repeat, panelize, palletized, or route and retain. There are also some key terms that we're going to talk about in this video. Those are rails, fiducials, tooling holes, and the fabrication types of scored and tab routed. First, let's talk about rails. Rails are extra PCB material that are added to the sides of the array to allow for easier handling during the assembly process. The typical choices are either two or four sides of the array. The widths may also vary between 0.500 inches, 0.375 inches, and 0.250 inches. Here's an example of a two-up array with 0.500 inch rails on two sides. A fiducial is a circle that is a copper pad with the same finish as the rest of the board. This provides alignment targets for the automated assembly equi equipment. If they are needed on an array, typically three of them are used. The ideal size is 0 0.050 inches. Here's an example of an array with three fiducials on the rails. Tooling holes in the four corners of the array is fairly common as well. Again, these are used to aid in alignment orientation when assembling the board. The typical sizes are 0 0.250 inches or 0.125 inches, and they are non-plated. Here's an example of a two-up array with tooling holes in the four corners. The two fabrication types or depaneling types are scored and tab routed. The spacing used for tab route is typically 0.100 inches. With scoring, the boards can be placed next to one another with no additional spacing. Scoring is making a small V groove along the length of the board where they will be separated. The groove is typically one third on top, one third on bottom, leaving one third of the material remaining in place to hold the boards together. The remaining material is often referred to as the web. The typical angle of the groove is 30 degrees. Here in this diagram, you can see an example of a typical application of score to a printed circuit board. Again, we see one third on top, one third on bottom, with approximately one third of the material left remaining. In this application of this circuit board, you have scoring, tooling holes, and fiducials in the rails. And in this case, which is unusual, they actually added an extra rail in between the boards that's also scored to help aid in the assembly process. The second fabrication type tab route will leave a small tab on all four sides of the boards attached to the other boards or the rails. This type of array is not as rigid as the scored array, but can be easier to break apart. Tabs are typically placed on each side of every board and usually 0 0.050 inches wide. They will usually have small holes drilled on the edge of the tab at the board outline. Those small holes are referred to as mouse bites or perforated holes. I've even heard the term rat bites used. Here's an example of a two-up array that is tab routed with rails on all four sides and tabs on each side of the board with 0.100 inch spacing between. Then in this example, you can see the perforated mouse bites on the edge of the tab on the edge of the board. There's also a fiducial and a tooling hole in the rail. 
Now, if you need help in coming up with your array sizes, we have a great little calculator on our website that will allow you to put in your dimensions and will automatically calculate all the dimensions that you need. It includes the fabrication type, tab route and scored, lets you choose your rail sizes, how many sides you want the rails, as well as tooling holes and fiducials. So all the details will be placed in a drawing that you can provide to us so that we can make your boards quickly and easily and correctly. You can find that on our website under our engineering tab and it's called the Array Calculator. If you have additional questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-855-811-1975 or email us at support at bayareacircuits.com. And you can visit our website, bayareacircuits.com.